Hi, it's Glowing Double O Cabbage. Decided to make another video of recent listens. I'm gonna call these uh, actually the series sort of round and round uh, recent listen records kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, I've been listening to a lot of records. I very, very much uh, slowed down on my buying. Although I do, I do still buy like here and there, you know, but never in copious amounts. Let's just say I'm a little more, I'm a lot more actually selective in what I buy. Uh, but these are the, some of the records that I've listened to in the past few days. Um, I'll start off uh, with this. I've been really enjoying dub reggae lately, and I've enjoyed this. Uh, Augustus Pablo uh, LP uh, called Java 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 uh, instrumentals dub wise versions off on Impact um, re-released on the in the VP Music Group. This is an all-star cast. It has Winston Wright on clavinet and um, Augustus Pablo and melodica and Tony King and Clive Chin on uh, percussion. This is. Fantastic! I bought this. I wasn't even really sure. It just had a little sticker on it that said Augustus Pablo. I'm like, nah, screw it. For like, I think it was like 12 bucks sealed. So, anyways, I picked this up, which is great. You know, that's the thing with this with these li recent listens. I'm just gonna intersperse new finds with it too, kind of thing, because I always listen to them. So. Um, this is this is a, a must-have. I know that uh, Fred Big Star One Thousand, you would really like this, and, and Robbie Olivox would really like this. You could probably find this cheap online as well. Uh, it's Canadian dub poetry by Lillian Allen. This particular album is called Revolutionary Tea Party. Really, really great stuff. Like really awesome, awesome. Not only the uh, poetry and stuff, but the instrumentation on it. It was just fantastic. It's really, really good. Um, it features music by, uh, what are, what are their names? Um, oh, uh, the Parachute Club do, do some of the music and it, it's, it's really great, really great. It's on Verse to Vinyl Records. It's Canadian press only out of Toronto, but you might be able to find it online for a half decent price. But I know, I know you, you two in particular would really like this. Listen to this just earlier today, actually. A uh, VCLT record that I got years ago from uh, Fred Big Star 1000. The numbers, they're kind of like Australia's Blondie. Uh, really cool uh, new wave kind of stuff. Uh, very kind of poppy new wave, but really great. Really enjoyed it, actually. And some of it is actually borderline punkish kind of thing. Kind of like, I guess, some of Blondie's stuff. Blondie was more like reggae, wasn't it? But. Uh, Anyways, this was released in, uh, I don't know, some year that existed prior to now. I don't even know. <laughs> All right. Um, I listened to this earlier uh, yesterday, and it was really enjoyable. It borders uh, for me. It's right on that cusp of, like, cheesy, cheesiness, possible cheesiness, you know. Uh, it just gets, it just kind of skirts it, but it never goes into cheesy territory. This is Max Lasser's Earth Walk. An amazing guitar player, really, really great. And this, the only thing that really hurts this album in a way is that it's just so dated from the 80s, the sound and stuff, from 1987. But really cool merge of new age and kind of uh, new age and global sensibilities kind of thing. Really great, actually, really great. Uh, <clears throat> this was a listen that was uh, Inspired by James Buttery, he posted this on Facebook a while back, and I was like, oh, I gotta play my John Handy record. I have a couple others, but this is John Handy recorded live at the Monterey Jazz Festival. And really, if you're a fan of jazz, if you, and you've never heard If Only We Knew, which is a whole side long track. And Spanish Lady is good too, but really the standout is all, If Only We Knew. Um, it just goes everywhere. It's it's just awesome. I don't, I can't even quite explain it, but uh, wow, really great stuff. Uh, yeah, John Handy on Columbia released uh, some other year prior to now. Picked this up a while ago, but I finally just got around to listening it, listening to it. I got it for two bucks. I still have the price tag on it, uh, but. Uh, 
two bucks. Patty Smith horses. Uh, I love I love this album. I mean, honestly, there's a reason why this is like a uh, modern classic kind of thing. It was released in 1975. I guess that's not so modern anymore, is it? It just means I'm getting older. Um, on Arista, Arista, or however you want to say it. I'm notorious for mispronouncing things, so actually I'm not gonna bother taking the record out. You guys know what it looks like. Uh, just a couple more. Listen to this. I went on a. Uh, I mentioned to some friends a while back that almost everybody who knows of of John Coltrane goes on some kind of a John John Coltrane binge, and I was on one a while back. And these are just a couple of the records that I listened to. Uh, John Coltrane alternate takes. There's actually three songs on here. The first three, Giant Steps, Nema, and Like Sunny, they are cuts. They're like takes that have never that were never released until this album was released. I, do, I think I read that on the back anyways. This was released in 1974. Wow, it's uh, it's amazing. Here's the back. I mean, what, do you, what can you say really about John Coltrane? The guy was a legend, and he's still a legend. I mean, there's, there's a church based upon John Coltrane. Watch that documentary not too long ago on YouTube. You should check it out. I forget what it's called. Probably the Church of Train. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, and this is the other one. Oh, an absolute mind-boggling good record, honestly. Blue Train by John Coltrane. Honestly, this is just killer. How can you go wrong with this lineup, though? Lee Morgan, Curtis Fuller, John Coltrane, Kenny Drew, Paul Chambers, and Philly Joe Jones. Oh, come on. Anyway, oh, I, lo I love John Coltrane. The guy, the guy is magic. Magic. All right, not even seven minutes. That's my most recent, recent listens, and I'll be back with some more soon. I'm telling you, I'm making more videos, people. Stay tuned.